Uh, great search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Thank you so much, DigiKey, for making this segment possible. This is when Lady Ada is your power of energy and help you, yes, you, find the things that you need on DigiKey.com. Lady Ada, what are you looking for this week? Okay, so a few weeks ago, we talked about these SWD connectors. So I think we were showing off like the Metro S3, um, and it has a, a two by five, a 10 pin, 0 0.05 pitch connector that's often used for SWD, but can also be used for, in this case, JTAG. SWD is ARM Cortex only. And it's how you can program the chip directly. So like if you don't even have a bootloader on, it's just like a raw chip, you can program it. Also great for step debugging and tracing. So it's a little bit more advanced usage, but it has to be used at least once for programming um, in many cases. And if you look at like, um, you know, I think our NRF52 Pro, chip you know this is for use with minute and so you know people who are using the minute real-time operating system they're going to definitely want to have a uh, swd port that's like very easy to plug into but for a lot of chips we don't necessarily have a port available for example samd21 feather um so let's look at like our feather m0 you know cortex chip and you have to program it with SWD. Um, but to do that, what we use is a pogo jig. So on the bottom here, you can see the um, zoom in S SWDIO and SW clock. And, you know, I, I totally sympathize. People are like, hey, I want to do step debugging with this feather. And you, it's like I have to solder to these pads. Yeah, because it wasn't really designed for use with debugging. It was designed for programming it in the factory. I load a bootloader on it, and then you never need a SWD programming again. Like I said, some people want access to it because they want to do low-level development. Um, but it's a trade-off because sometimes you, uh, you know, you don't want the bulk of having uh sorry let's figure out which feather um i can't remember the part number feather rp ah here you go sometimes um you don't want the bulk of having the um connector on there it also costs more money it's just another you know uh, failure point um, especially if, again, you you don't use that. Like, I don't even need SWD to program the RP2040. It has a ROM bootloader built in. So um, I leave this spot blank. And I think on a previous uh, great search I showed, you know, you can buy through hole or surface mount SWD connectors and plug them in. But a lot of people like are just like, that's really annoying. Let's come up with a new standard or a new way of connecting that's press fit that you can, like, pop it in and then remove it when you're done programming because with this you do have to solder in the connector this is not a these holes are just um orientation for the connector they're not like a press fit so a lot of people use this system called tag connect and um it's a license free footprint that you can put down on your board and you can see there's like these four large holes and then these three smaller holes and you can um, often get away with just the three smaller holes if you need to reduce the amount of space, although then it won't um, lock in place. It's just for like press to program. So these three holes are orientation holes and these four large holes are like uh, snap in. And then these are the 10 contacts that you would use for JTAG or SWD or actually ICSP or whatever uploading system. And then you would get a cable. Um, and the cable has these pogo pins, the three orientations uh, pads, so you don't uh, post, so you don't put it backwards. And then you can see these are little like uh, clip lock pieces that kind of hold it in place. So um, I, I, personally, I don't use Tag Connect just because I, I don't know. I have a Tag Connect uh, adapter cable here in like my bag of debugging ports because I do see a lot of boards that have tag connect on them. I personally just go with, you know, a two by five connector or I just solder in pads. But uh, if you are interested in using tag connect, it's very common. And there's definitely ready to go footprints for like Altium and Orcad, Eagle, CutCAD, whatever. Um, and it's available in a couple different 
configurations. So most common is your standard 10 pin SWD. And what's nice is even here, they give you a cable that goes into the standard um, uh, J link or, you know, uh, MCU link, you know, or STM link, whatever. Everybody's got their own brand of programmer, like Simsys DAP compatible. Um, this will work there. And then, you know, it's, it's $40, it's an investment, but you can use it multiple times. Also, this is very often used in um, manufacturing lines. You know, you want to program separately without using a better nails Poco pin. There's also, um, it comes in different setups as well, not just 10 pin, but six pin, which could be used if you wanted less space, you can still get power, ground, reset, SWD clock, um, SWD IO, and then like, you know, one more pin for whatever. Um, or if you're using this with AVRs or microchips, you know, power, ground, clock, data in, data out, reset. So, you know, you can use five, uh, use six pin, 10 pin. This is, gives you uh, to point one inch connectors. Um, they also looks like they have like little accessories that can be used with um, Tag Connect as well. But, you know, basically the, the this company Tag Connect, which is not, they're not an official um, ARM standard. It's like a separate company, but a lot of people who do ARM development uh, use it. And then this is a, I think a mechanical holder to hold stuff in place, maybe on the other side. Okay, so this is Tag Connect. Um, again, I haven't used it, but it's very, very popular. I think if you're doing any kind of development or reverse engineering, I would pick up one of these anyways. Like, again, I have one um, just because I see so many boards that have Tag Connect that when I do need to uh, program them or debug them, you know, you could just plug in. A lot of dev boards also use Tag Connect because, again, it's, it's slim, it's small, and um, doesn't cost anything to add the footprint. Uh, I also saw um, this uh, cool tweet from Arturo and Abhinav937. Uh, and look, it's not that you can't use Tag Connect. It's wonderful, but it is $40. And maybe you're like, look, I don't want to have, you know, if I have, if, if I'm giving away uh, the programming cable or I need like 10 programming cables for my uh, manufacturing line, um, maybe you don't want to spend 40 bucks a piece. There's an alternative, which is interesting. I've never seen this. This is an IDC connector, and it looks like it's 0.1 inch pitch from Worth Electronic called SCED, and it's press fit. So you see this; these contacts are press fit in, and if you use their footprint that, that's published, um, you can then um, have it for you know six, or I'll show you they have ten pin. Another nice thing um, Arturo points out is these two holes are not the same size. So it also has the orientation protection. So people will plug it in backwards, which is kind of cool. So for Tag Connect, um, you know, I recommend, again, just getting one of these. It goes straight into your SWD um, port. So this is the TC2050 IDC. But for SCED, and I just thought this is a very cool connector. Even if you don't necessarily use it for um, programming, it's so hard to find good press fit um contacts and these are not too expensive either on the connector side as this is under even though it's it's a cable it's under connectors you see they actually come in uh they're all two row but you can get them in four through 20 pin and they have the cables ready to rock so this is a like a two by eight yeah two by eight um you also just get the you know if you want to make your own cables you can crimp them um but this looks like perfect six pin and then on the other side, you can solder to it or you can cut it. Um, or you can have, the, you know, you could have an little adapter to take it to whatever programming you want. And uh, these are like a lot less expensive, you know, for $4, $4.50 instead of $40. They're bigger, but, you know, they also come in multiple, like longer arrays. So if you're like, oh, I want it for, you know, as Scott was showing off on his deep dives um, using... Um, the trace, like there's a, a SWD, like quad trace connect that is uh, much wider than the standard two by five. I think it's like two by 10. You could use a press fit for that. Again, chunky, but inexpensive and uh, looks like it's, you know, easy to use. So two uh, good options here. It is even up to 
yeah, two by 10. So you can get up to two by 10 for this press fit. Um, but I think it'd be useful for other uses too. I've never seen press fit IDC connectors. So I'm gonna like put that away in my brain for later. So uh, two good options for non-soldering, non-permanent connector, SWJ tag or debugging. That's a great search. Where?